Hi everyone. My name is Jennifer Williams. I'm the president and CEO of Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro, and I'm also a civil engineer. At Hydro, we manage our province's electricity system. And what that means is that we generate most of the electricity that people in Newfoundland and Labrador depend on every day, 24 seven. So you can charge your phone, watch TV, and so our hospitals, schools, restaurants, businesses can be up and running. Above all, it's our job to safely provide reliable electricity that everyone in the province can count on every day. We know you're counting on us because interruptions in that service is not fun. And I promise you, our whole team work really hard to deliver for you. And speaking of safety, I want to share an important message with all of you about why I'm wearing this bandage on my nose. I recently had a medical procedure after a doctor determined that I had a few spots that were cancerous and that had to be taken out. So thanks to my doctor, those spots are gone. But I do want to remind you uh, that about the importance of wearing sunscreen and keeping your skin protected when you're out in the sun. It's really important for your health and well-being. My bandage is proof of why you should. So I encourage you and your friends to be sun smart whenever you're out in the sun. I decided to become an engineer because I had some role models in my family. An older brother, a brother-in-law, and some cousins who were engineers. I saw it around me, and while I didn't really know what it would entail, I knew I enjoyed math, physics, and a challenge. All things that set you up well for engineering. I also knew it would be a good career financially. I wanted to be able to take care of myself and not rely on anybody else. That was really important to me. As an added bonus, doing engineering here locally at MUN, you have to complete work terms, which allow you to get experience and make some money as you go through. Many times working out of province, which gives you the chance to see other parts of the world, even before you start your career. That opportunity is not common for some other career options. Which makes me want to speak in particular about engineering at Memorial especially now that I'm out of school 20 plus years and I can see at arm's length the strength of our graduates, I put our graduates up against the best in the country and even further afield. I'm a very proud graduate of Mun Engineering. My daughter is about to start going there in the fall with some of her close friends. I was over the moon when she made the decision to do engineering and even happier that she and her friends chose Mun. They won't regret it. They'll have a really fun and challenging university career and they'll graduate with a top notch basis of knowledge upon which to start their career. What I've always loved about being an engineer was that you really are problem solvers in the world. You solve the problems in our community and all around the world across the country. And if you enjoy working with others, you really do have the best job. Each engineer working with others is needed to contribute their skill to solve a problem. And you're often part of a larger picture. When all of your contributions come together, you really are solving some really interesting and tough problems, but you do it as a team. And that is really challenging and it's really fun and rewarding. What I have found most surprising about being an engineer is I think when I first started my career, I never imagined that I would be the head of a utility. I thought that was only for electrical engineers. And what I find is engineering teaches us how to evaluate problems, consider various solutions, and then implement the appropriate ones. That approach applies to leading a team, and then a larger team, and now a large organization. It's not always math, physics, all day. The lesson is that you should not assume you will not be in a certain role in the future, because you truly do not know where you will be in 5, 10, 15, 20 years. I think many people would be surprised to know that just how complex it is operating and adding to an electrical system. We all take it for granted when you flip a switch and the lights come on. But for those who have to climb poles, and be around fast rotating equipment and the generation of electricity, it's really dangerous. So engineers out there have a lot of thought to put into how to monitor, fix, operate, and upgrade our system. So that first, our employees are safe and as well as the public. And second, that when you operate and change the system and that you don't make a decision that makes the system unreliable. Things are very complicated and you have to integrate them reliably. And it really has to be carefully, carefully analyzed by engineers so that you make sure that once you make the connections with the new parts of the system, everything is really reliable. It's really complex, but it makes it like really interesting, terribly interesting. I never would have thought that when I was younger that I would love electricity. Engineers are important to hydro for many reasons. If you think about what we do, we generate electricity in massive hydroelectric units like Churchill Falls and Bay Despair, and we transmit it over hundreds of kilometers of transmission lines, which include huge towers exposed to terrible weather conditions 
And then we also distribute electricity to the farthest corners of this province, across rugged terrain and in remote locations. All these activities need engineers to understand the conditions in which we operate, and then work to design and construct the systems that can deliver electricity despite all those hurdles. Engineers touch every part of what we do. We obviously have other talented people who work on the system, power line techs, laborers, electricians, but engineers are not often seen as the face of the utilities, but we truly would not exist if we didn't have engineers overseeing, operating, designing, and constructing the system that we have. At Hydro, our engineers work in a variety of disciplines, civil, electrical, mechanical, environmental, and whether they're managing projects or solving problems to ensure we're delivering electricity safely and reliably, or planning for the future needs, and contributing to a greener, sustainable future, we are all doing our part to ensure we provide the electricity customers' needs every day today, as well as into the future. To anyone considering a career in engineering, I would say you won't regret it. Don't be daunted by people saying, oh, it's really hard. Lots of schooling is hard. The challenge is what supports are available to you to get through. The best thing about the engineering program is you grow quite close to your classmates and you pull together to get each other through. I don't know if that exists in all careers. Plus, you get to try work terms, to try out different aspects of engineering, and you can earn a really good living. The icing on the cake is you then work with some other awesome team members to solve really interesting problems. I promise you, it is a truly interesting career when you are solving a new problem every year. It's really never boring. My advice to any of you who may be considering a career in engineering is twofold. First, to excel in your career, really accept and appreciate that being able to engage in conversations with your coworkers and others in your work is critical, and I cannot stress that enough. The most successful people that I interact with and the most effective people that I work with are those that can demonstrate interest in what others have to say about any topic and then to integrate what those folks have to say into the thinking that you're taking with regards to solving a problem. Solving a problem. It really is better. This communication skill is better than any other organizational tool that I have witnessed. And the last thing about, um, I guess, advice to engineers and observations about it is um, engineering excellence comes from all genders. Men do not have a lock on being a good engineer. So when you picture an engineer, please make sure that one of the images that you see is someone like me. There's lots of women that I work with and that admire and that inspire me every day. And they're as equivalent, if not better sometimes, as some of the male engineers that I work with. So gender has no basis in making you a good engineer or a bad engineer. Women can be amazing engineers, I promise you. Okay, thanks for listening, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.